Hello and welcome to LFC Focus. It is the post-match reaction show after Liverpool have just beaten Cardiff by two goals to nil in Wales to return to the top of the Premier League table at least for another few days. Obviously, Manchester City got their 1-0 win against Tottenham on Saturday, which has, I think, put a little bit of a dampener on things. And certainly going into the game today, I certainly felt like I just wasn't as excited as I have been for the last few league games. It just... It really, I think, sucked the wind out of my cells. And I'm sure it was the same for a lot of Liverpool fans because we had that City Spurs game down as being the one where they would drop points. So I was almost going into it today thinking, you know what, even if, if we lost, I'd almost just kind of be like, OK, well, yeah, the title did go this weekend. But there's just something about this Liverpool team. There's something about what they can do to you and make you feel watching them play that just reinvigorates you in, in any scenario. You know, after that game today, I feel ready to go once again in this title race because we are just utterly, utterly relentless. And I think it's mad that some people almost thought that was a poor performance from Liverpool today, even in the first half where, yeah, I can kind of admit we weren't quite perfect. But I think apart from the fact that we didn't really put away our chances, I can't think of too many things that were actually going wrong with our performance in the first 45 minutes. I think the important thing was that we were creating chances because when Liverpool have drawn games this season, certainly when they've drawn games 0-0, it's not been about not finishing the opportunities we make for ourselves. It's that we haven't been making enough opportunities in the first place. So the fact that we were constantly forcing our way through that Cardiff defence and making goal scoring chances for ourselves, for me, filled me with confidence because I thought if it doesn't happen in this half, it's certainly going to happen in the second half, especially given typically in the second half, we t in second half of the season, we tend to flourish because we've just got a lot more fitness than the opponent and they often do wear themselves out by defending against us in the first half. I think you could see in that second 45 minutes that Cardiff just didn't have the same energy that they were able to bring earlier on in the game and they did just completely crumble as Liverpool just piled and piled the pressure on and I think that's something that's so, been so key to this Liverpool side success is the ability to just maintain pressure for a full 90 minutes knowing that at some point the quality is in the side somewhere, even if it's not in the players you normally expect to get the goals. You know, none of the front three score today. Normally, they're the players you bank on getting the goals in the difficult situations for Liverpool. But today, they came from different places. You know, Gini van Aldem, a man who has scored like two away goals in his entire English football career in the league games anyway suddenly comes up with the goal today and that's something that Liverpool really have going for them is the fact that there is quality all over the pitch there are decision makers there are game changers all over the pitch and at times like these especially in a title race as intense as this where you cannot afford to slip up at all where you've got to win every single game you possibly can you need to have that amount of sort of faith in your team that amount sheer quantity of Force of will, almost that ability to kind of force a win in any scenario, no matter who you're playing against. And, you know, it's something that Liverpool are going to need if they are going to win all of their games between now and the end of the season. And they certainly needed it today. But at no point did I feel like we were struggling. Like I said, in the first 45, I actually thought we played pretty well. No one was amazing. And I thought Cardiff as well, to their credit, were fantastic defensively in the first 45 minutes. I think they knew how to neutralise us. Normally, our fullbacks are so, so important to the system. Them. And today they didn't get a sniff, certainly in those early stages of the game. And it forced us to play through midfield. And at first, I think that threw us a little bit. Certainly the first half an hour, we were struggling to work out how we were actually going to break them down. But as the first half wore on, you could certainly see that uh, players were kind of working out how they were going to be able to break this kind of team down. I think Cater and Henderson and Vinaldum as well, to an extent, were all looking at the situation and thinking, well, you know what, we're going to have to go through the middle, which means we as the midfielders are going to have to step up. And you even saw the fullbacks dropping off as a result. You know, Trent Alexander-Arnold, who was also having a difficult game up against Mendes Lang, opted to actually just drop a lot further back than he usually plays, certainly in games like this, and deal with the defensive side a little bit more and leave the attacking up to the midfielders. So Liverpool certainly managed their way through the game absolutely brilliantly today. And that, again, is just testament to how brilliant this side is. You know, I think something that I saw a lot on Twitter after the game was people saying this is the best Liverpool team the Premier League has ever seen. And potentially, if we're being honest, one of the best Liverpool teams we've ever seen, full stop, you know, 
Even though they might not win a trophy this season, they will have a much better points tally than any other team in the club's history. And yeah, it's only one season, so you've got to judge it over and over again. But this doesn't look like a flash in the pan. The, the way they've won games this season, where it is relentless, and like I said, it's this ability to just force a win every single time, no matter what the circumstances, and the ability to tactically adapt, like I said today, where you change from playing a system that is built all around having your fullbacks bomb on and get crosses in mid-game to suddenly change and say actually we're just going to play through the midfield to be able to do things like that to me suggests that this, this Liverpool team is not going away and that's another reason why I'm so happy coming out of this game because you know I, I'm no longer kind of in this kind of mindset where if we don't win the league that's it and the team's going to fall apart like it has done in the past when we've had near misses with trophies I feel like this team will go again and again and again and they will at some point win the Premier League I really hope it's this year I still have a little bit of faith. You know, Man United hardly imbued anyone with confidence ahead of the Manchester derby today. But, you know, this sport is mad and stranger things have happened. And they do still have a hell of a lot to play for. They've been done a favour by Arsenal in the race of the top four. City have also got to play Burnley away as well, which is sometimes a difficult game. You know, it's, it's impossible to predict. You never know what side is going to show up with the opposition when you're playing it. It's not like Liverpool where you know that they're going to be brilliant every single week. The team City are playing could be utter garbage or they could deliver the best performances of their lives. All this Liverpool team has got to do is keep the pressure on and they are doing that absolutely brilliantly at the moment because they don't look like faltering regardless of you know whether they are nil-nil with an hour to go or, or with half an hour to go or whether they go 1-0 up in the first minute whatever happens you always feel like this Liverpool team is still going to pull through and get the three points so you know if I were Manchester City I would be banking on them having to win every single game and that would be no mean feat so the title race is still very much alive you know and talking a little bit more about the goals from today's game the first goal we score is just a wonderful training ground routine I'm sure Cardiff will be absolutely fuming with that and I think Again, it's testament to how much we wear teams down because I think it was just mental tiredness that led to that goal being scored because, yeah, it's a good routine. It's clearly one off the training ground, but a low corner like that should not be getting that far into the box that a player like Gina Van Alden can take a shot like that. You know, that should be getting cleared, but Cardiff had just been endlessly defending for about 55 minutes up to that point. You know, up to that point in the second half, I'm pretty sure none of their players even touch the ball outside of their own half of the pitch. So that wears on teams mentally as much as it does physically. And I think that's what causes that lapse in concentration that allows us to get the goal. And obviously, fantastic finish from Gina Van Alden. The penalty as well. I mean, if you don't think that's a penalty, just get lost, man. There's no way that's not a penalty. Yeah, okay, the way he falls down is unnatural. But the fact of the matter is, a referee will never, ever, 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 ever give a penalty unless you hit the deck and Salah was just never going to get anywhere it was clearly a foul you know it's it's about three fouls maybe even four in one if you count the extra like elbow punch to the throat that he does right before Salah goes down it's definitely a penalty Salah just does what he's got to do it's something he's been doing for a while now this season it wasn't a part of his game last season it was getting on everyone's nerves because he was getting fouled quite badly and he needed to be a little bit more smart about it so it's only testament to the fact that Mo Salah is a clever footballer it's got nothing to do with him being a diver because there is nothing dishonest about the fact that he goes down there when he knows he's being fouled he knows he's not going to get anywhere he knows he deserves a penalty so he decides to get one and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that and then of course Jimmy Milner absolutely he buries it so yeah once again a, I was going to say comfortable I mean it's only comfortable because it's Liverpool if I saw any other team like a Spurs or an Arsenal get that I'd say that was a really hard fought draw that they had to work for and maybe had strokes of luck in terms of how you know they got a lucky break with the first goal or something like that but because it's Liverpool we're so used to seeing games like this where maybe we don't look brilliant although I think at times our build-up play was some of the best I've seen for a while today certainly the speed at which we were going you know Sadio Mane I haven't even mentioned him at times he tried to take on the entire right hand side of Cardiff starting 11 and won and succeeded you know the strength of that man when he holds the ball up in the box and is just constantly turning getting away making space 
getting closed down and then carrying on and keeping the ball moving. The strength combined with the skill to keep the ball at your feet and the awareness to know where the spaces are to go into. He is an absolutely sublime footballer and he, I think he deserved a goal for the way he played today as well. Firmino was just brilliant as well. You know, the guy is fantastic. I mean, this Liverpool team is, like I said, the best one of the Premier League era, potentially one of the best ever because there are these fantastic individual players where I can wax lyrical about their individual performances all day long and yet still the most impressive thing about them is how well they function as a unit so look if we win the league or not if we win the champions league or not just enjoy this amazing Liverpool team that's been put together because of their chances are we will never see the like of them again so yeah that is all for today's video thank you guys very very much for watching if you did enjoy this video as always hit that like button down there hit that subscribe button there if you're new around here check out some of the other videos that have been out on the channel over the past few days as well don't forget to follow at LFC Focus TV on Twitter and I'll be back soon with the pre-match content for the game against Huddersfield until then bye for now